This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, hey, real fast. I don't know. Uh, you don't. You don't get on Twitter anymore, right? No, right. I don't. Well, I'm sure you've heard over the years. Uh, certainly, are you? Gonna, are you? Wait, well, hang on a second. Stop. Are you going to hit me with more tr- Twitter drama? It's going to be something you'll be entertained by. Okay, go ahead. So, you know, they're doing this, uh, hidden treasure show on a and E with WWE right now, right? Where they're going. I don't know. No, I don't. Okay. Well, on Sunday night, they do an A and E biography episode where they profile a wrestler, you know, whether it was ultimate warrior or it was stone cold or it was Roddy Piper or Sean Michaels or Booker T or Mick Foley or Bret Hart, whatever. And right afterwards, they have a collector show where they, they go try to find WWE artifacts that are now in the hands of collectors and WWE tries to get them back in their warehouse, that type of deal. Yeah. So one of the folks they talked to was Jake, the snake Roberts, and he was, they were looking for his old snake bag (laughs) and they started, I know it's funny. Uh, but he tells a story and some of that story would even wind up as part of the dark side of the ring on grizzly Smith, Mm. where they talk about where he was hit over the head with the honky tonk man's guitar. And as a result of that injury, he became addicted to pills Mm. and became an, uh, a drug addict. I don't know another way to say it. Okay. So he would blame a lot of his dependency on chemicals on the guitar shot. And I, over the years have inquired to guys like, uh, Jeff Jarrett. Hey man, why didn't they just gimmick that? He said, well, you know, I always thought they did, but Earl Hebner would tell me, no, the guys wanted to take it for real. Mm Mm-hmm. The guys, you know, they were all macho men and machismo or whatever. No, right. no, just lay it in. I don't care. Lay it in, buddy. Absolutely. Yeah. Meanwhile, of course, if you ever saw Jeff Jarrett, his shit was balsa wood and exploded into a million pieces. Cause why right. the fuck would you want to get hit with a real guitar? Anyway, I'm saying all that to say honky talk man had had enough. Okay. So he woke up and he chose violence a few days ago uh. and he tweeted HTM guitar hits that did not cause crack addiction. Macho man. Brutus Beefcake, Ultimate Warrior, Superfly Snooker, Bret Hart. Crack cocaine addiction hit, Snake Roberts. And someone said, You are sure not responsible for his addiction. Imagine the gate you could get for a pay per view meeting or reconciliation, but that was stiff as hell. I'm a guitarist, and that axe was definitely not gimmicked. It did not give. And honky tonk says, we use strong bow's pocket knife to cut marks in the back to weaken it. The middle and top supports I removed with a screwdriver and a hammer. I used a black marker to cover where the knife chipped out the fiberglass coating. The guitar was on the heavy side, made a good sound. And when people started to fire up, um, about what he was saying, he doubled down and honky talk man said the white dust that flew out of Robert's nose from that guitar hit made 12,000 people in the building that night become crackheads. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then when they, oh. they cover the whole dark side of the ring thing and the grizzly Smith thing, he quotes that article and he says, Oh no, how did honky talk man cause all this to a child? No mention of HTM here. I guess I'm saying all of that to say honky talk man is on fire. Mm. He even quoted a cartoon where Bret Hart was, um, in a story and quoted as saying that Jake Roberts was one of the worst guys he ever worked with. And he felt like he was dishonest and a thief and honky talk man says, did HTM cause the snake to steal from Bret Hart? And then puts a bow on this whole conversation and says, HTM has given you all the evidence needed for you to decide if Roberts is a habitual liar and blames everyone else for his own choices in life. I'm saying all this to say this was a feud from what? 87. Yes. And it's back again in 2021. 
if they can bring this back, I'm going to need Ricky Morton and Ric Flair to start sparring again on Twitter. <laughs> can we get that going? No, I, I think I no, no, I think. No, there's only one honky tonk man. Morton's not like that. I don't think flair is like that. that's only one honky tonk man. He's a <sighs> Twitter, huh? Twitter. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.